Welcome to Crossium's introduction. In this video, we are going to look the tools on the History Manager. Let's remember the types of selection that we have and how it works. When you select something in the viewport, it selects to in the History Manager and vice versa. Remember that we have to select our viewport for types, materials, and gem cuts. In this case, we have the silver and gold. We have to the types, gems, head, and veil. We can go to the selector by gem materials and gem cuts. You can select all you need, or on select, clicking again on the selected item. How the editions work? We have three ways to go to the edition manager. We can go to the history manager and press edition. We can go to the top side and press edit button. Or we can click on the middle mouse button or the scroll button to edit. Note that the difference between them is that when we go to edit button on the history manager, it edit only that tool. But as we will see, we can edit two gems going to the top side edition or with the mouse scroll button. Remember that it will take the size properties of the last gem edited. Now we are going to modify the gem size, but it will keep the gem cuts. What is Related Commands? Related Commands is a resource that you can use usually in your workflow. In this example, we are going to do a shank ring using Related Commands. We go to the expander related and we will see what works with the tool that has been created. We create a gem ring and in his related we can see another recommended tools like head, bezel, under bezel, cloud and others. Now we are going to talk about the height. We can hide of different ways. We have the history manager where we can see the bulbs. If we click on the bulb, it will hide or show its component on the history manager. We can use the shell command and write hide. It will hide the selected object. As we can see, the light of the bulb is off. And we can show again pressing the bulb. Another way to hide or show is in the bottom window. The difference is that here we hide by categories and it will hide and show all the components of that category. The last way to hide and show is in the toolbar edit. Here we find the command hide and show. It will hide the components that we select. Have you lost your camera view? Don't worry, we have zoom extends. You can press zoom extends on each component to find it fast. Now we are going to talk about reset position. Reset position returns the object to the initial position where it was created. When you move an object, the common reset position appears in the history manager, down the component that was moved. If we click on it, it will relocate the position. Finally, let's talk about remove booleans and restore objects. Restore objects is really useful when we want to remove a boolean. We can restore an object and cats inside a boolean that we have done, to continue with a remove boolean. So we'll still having the objects and they will not be deleted. As you can see, the remove boolean, delete the boolean and keep the main object A and delete the object B, but the components will still save to be used in the future. Another example is when we delete some gem in a row, and then we want to restore it. I unrobe the gems to delete separately. In this case, we can use the command to return the three gems that we delete. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, subscribe us.